Our team coverage on former President Donald Trump continues now. The fallout from the presumptive Republican presidential nominee's assassination attempt led us to local voters. Not to see how they felt about the attempt on Trump's life, but how that moment will shape how they vote in less than four months. And Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days has their thoughts for us tonight. Here in studio, Wesley, there seems to be a toss-up. Yeah, there is. From who we spoke with, there could be, but it's important to note there is a difference between a personal and political impression of the former president. Well, it makes me feel that like you're going to get, you know, I mean, a lot of people's vote for him. Could something so negative like an assassination attempt have a positive political impact for Donald Trump? He's not giving up. You know, I mean, he's going to fight for what he, what he wants. Just days after 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks tried to take the former president's life at a Pennsylvania campaign rally, his target's political life seems healthier than ever before. He as a person, I must give it to him that he is very, very determined. How do you think this is going to impact Donald Trump's campaign for president? Uh, I think it's going to put rocket fuel into his campaign. Western Mass News spoke with local political expert Paul Robbins, who weighs in for us on the state of the race as this unprecedented presidential election cycle hits the home stretch. I think you're going to have, Wesley, you're going to have a huge audience that's going to watch the convention. He's going to get propelled um, by what's happened, uh, how he came out of it, and the fact that this conventions happening literally two days later. How we came out of that traumatic moment may resonate with some voters. And I see Trump as a stronger man with a voice that's not afraid to like stand up for what he believes in, but I also kind of am ashamed of him at times. But it may not be a cakewalk to his former job. If the election was today mm -hmm. and you had to go to the poll right now, mm -hmm. who would you vote for? From what is going on right now, okay, I am still voting Democratic. Well, Chris and Abby, as you always know, our theme here is getting answers. Paul Robbins adds if Trump wants to keep this latest momentum, he needs to come off as a statesman. And he added his focus needs to be on how to unite voters rather than splitting them by party. Now, I talked about getting answers a moment ago because we asked you at home to weigh in. We asked you, will the assassination attempt on Donald Trump sway you to vote for the Republican nominee? Well, take a look. It's overwhelming. It's not it's not too quick in quotes. Um, Eighty percent of you said no. Twenty percent of you are saying yes. It actually had an impact on how you are going to move at the ballot box. So we'll keep an eye on that. You can still vote right now on WesternMassNews.com. Well, tonight at six, we're taking a trip to Milwaukee to the Republican National Convention, where one Western Mass delegate is ready to stop for Trump there and right here in the Commonwealth. You don't want to miss what she has to say. Reporting live in studio, Wesley Day's Western Mass News.